Imagine, you are going on a trip with your family, friends, people you love. As you arrive to the airport, feelings of joy and anticipation arise. You enter the airport and get your tickets. Drop off the luggage, check your flight boarding times, and go through security and walk to your gate. The wait ends as the gate opens and you board the plane. You notice other people around you. There are businessmen, students, children, and families. You look out the window with your fingers crossed and watch as the plane slowly lifts off. Suddenly, the airplane starts shaking, spinning, and is headed to the ground. Will you be saved? Well, to find out, we have to go back a few years to when Boris Popov started off with jumping off a tree and unleashing his homemade rendition of a parachute, which was a bed sheet tied to some string. When his parachute failed to save him from injury, he did not give up. Popov realized he needed to start higher than just a tree. Years later, college graduate Popov experienced a fall that rekindled his interest in parachutes. From 500 feet in the air, while hang gliding, Popov lost control and tumbled to the water beneath him. It was this incident that sparked his determination to create solutions to save people from life-threatening situations. Popo founded the Ballistic Recovery Systems, Inc. of St. Paul, Minnesota in 1980. BRS worked hard to develop parachutes for hang gliders, ultralights, and experimental aircraft. BRS received Federal Aviation Administration certification. With BRS's successes, small business innovation research contracts were made with the Langley Research Center. Popo aimed bigger, advancing the BRS parachute system for use with larger and heavier aircraft. With important funding from NASA, BRS developed thin film parachutes that are strong and have handy deployment devices. This reduces the bulk and weight of a parachute while maintaining quality and safety. The BRS parachute system was finally completed and was featured in spin-off in 2002. The result was brilliant. It is deployed by a solid rock motor activated when the pilot pulls the cockpit handle release. The rocket fires at over 100 miles per hour, thus deploys its parachute in less than one second. The chute opens only 25% in the first few seconds in order to reduce airspeed to the point where the chute can fully open and still sustain the opening shock. To ensure safety at lower speeds and altitudes, the chute opens up quickly and completely. BRS has sold more than 30,000 systems internationally. Its parachute is officially the standard equipment on the Cirrus SR-20 and SR-22 planes, Flight Design CT Light Sported Aircraft, Piper Aircraft's Piper Sport LSA, and BRS also provides and supports the military with parachute systems for military unmanned aerial vehicles, military cargo parachutes, and military training aircraft recovery parachutes. With the help of NASA, Popo has admirably been able to turn his childhood vision and lifelong dream into reality. Together, NASA and Popo have been able to save 246 lives through the parachute system. We return to the present, and your flight is safe too, thanks to Boris Popo and NASA. It doesn't matter what flight you take or the destination you have in mind, because NASA's always got you covered.